the turret fighter was a relatively unique branch in the history of fighter aircraft development. The original fighter aircraft itself mounted firearms on a rotating gun seat, which can be considered as the precursor to the turret fighter. With the appearance of coordinators, the installation of directional machine guns slash cannons on fighter aircraft became mainstream. With the improvement of fighter aircraft performance, it became difficult for guns and cannons installed in turrets to hit targets during high-speed aircraft movement, seemingly leading to the decline of turret fighters. However, with the development of radar technology, turret fighters had a brief resurgence after World War II, and the MiG-17SN experimental aircraft was one of the products. The MiG-17 was a jet fighter that first flew in the Soviet Union in 1950 and was considered advanced at the time. It had multiple subsequent models, and the MiG-17SN was an experimental model tested in 1953. The target of the MiG-17SN test was a turret-style artillery system, which allowed the aircraft to attack targets at unconventional angles. For example, it could use the turret to obtain a larger attack angle during tail-biting maneuvers or strafe ground targets during horizontal flight. The turret of the MiG-17SN was installed on the nose of the aircraft, which required significant adjustments to the aircraft because the original MiG-17 had a nose intake. The experimental aircraft changed the intake to the sides of the fuselage with the intake ducts connected to the wings. This freed up space in the nose for the installation of the turret, extending the overall length of the aircraft by about 1 meter. The nose of the aircraft was equipped with the SV-25 MiG-17 weapon system, which weighed 469 kilograms. It had three TKB-495 Type 23mm machine guns. Although it had a turret-like structure, the machine guns could not rotate or elevate like the turrets we commonly see. The machine guns of the MiG-17SN could only be adjusted in elevation, with an upward angle of about 27 degrees and a downward angle of about 9 degrees. The three machine guns were not arranged together, but rather two were placed side by side on the left side of the nose, and one was installed separately on the right side. The three machine guns were controlled together, and the theoretical rate of fire for a single machine gun was 250 rounds per minute. It was almost impossible for the pilot to manually control the machine guns to hit targets, so the aircraft was equipped with a radar system and an automatic direction finder, as well as a special optical device. The pilot's canopy was enlarged to provide better visibility. Although the aircraft's appearance seemed more advanced than the nose intake structure, the MiG-17SN's testing did not go smoothly. Firstly, the aircraft's flight performance was not as good as the MiG-17. Its maximum speed was about 60 km per hour slower, and it took about 0.4 minutes longer to climb to an altitude of 5,000 meters. Its maximum ceiling was about 500 meters lower, and its combat performance was significantly worse. Of course, the aircraft's flight performance was not as important as the turret testing for a fighter aircraft. So how did the turret of the MiG-17SN perform? Testing found that after the gun deviation angle exceeded a certain threshold, the recoil would directly affect the flight. After a deviation angle of more than 10 degrees, the ability to fire was already lost. Another problem was that the aiming system for the machine guns was complex and inaccurate. Therefore, this type of turret fighter did not meet practical standards and was deemed to have no value for further development. From another perspective, the 1950s was also a time of great development for missiles. The maturity of air-to-air -air missile technology gave fighter aircraft more efficient long-range precision strike capabilities. More and more people began to believe in the omnipotence of missiles and considered machine guns to be outdated and useless designs in the supersonic era. Perhaps this was also one of the reasons why the development of the MiG-17SN was halted. The MiG-17SN had a length of about 12.3 meters, a wingspan of about 9.6 meters, a height of about 3.8 meters, and a wing area of 22.6 square meters. Its empty weight was 4,152 kilograms, 